Creating the config.php file for lightning pages is what will determine what meta boxes uh, will show up for the user. And what I mean by that is in the actual landing page, uh, these are the meta boxes that are defined, all the different options. Right now there's a text field, text area, color picker, radio buttons, check boxes, drop downs, a date picker, an additional WYSIWYG editor, and you can also upload files. Uh, if you have any other specific needs, drop us a line. We're more than happy to uh, add in specific new uh, kind of meta fields. So in this particular landing page that we're recreating, uh, we needed to find different user areas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, we need a media upload for the logo. We're gonna have a top area WYSIWYG editor for the top content there. This will just be the regular WordPress content. This is gonna be the conversion area, which has its own function that I'll show you. And the uh, bottom has a logo here. And also uh, we'll add in an option to toggle on or off the social media buttons. So one of the best ways to get started creating your config.php file is to actually use the demo theme config file. That's what we usually do. Um, so let's take a look at it. So this is what the config.php file uh, looks like. So you're defining your different options at the top. You're running a global uh, hook for third party extensions. This defines the actual key to the template. Um, below here, this is actually stuff that you will edit. Um, basically, it's your landing page name, a link to the demo page, uh, any additional information you want, and a category if you want to specify a specific category for the page. Um, this is also for uh, kind of core functionality, so uh, definitely don't touch it. Um, but beneath this uh, line here, that's actually where you would add in your meta boxes. And these uh, fields right here are actually what are controlling the meta boxes that you see in the demo template. So the first field here is the text area. So this is a text field example. So basically you have your specific ID. The, this is the default text, which you can see here, default text here. This is the field label, field label and the field description, which is in the tooltip. So each uh, meta box is defined here. So you can actually start with these and just edit them uh, or copy and paste them into your existing files. So what I've done is actually copied the config file over and removed what I didn't need. Um, but basically what we have here from the areas that I defined in this template is basically um, here's the media upload option and if you're wondering how to add in specific uh, meta box options we've documented that up in the developer documentation so under the template config.php section what you can see is all the different available fields right now and uh, basically uh, example snippets of each of them. So if you were to click through, so let's say you want to add an additional WYSIWYG editor to the landing page options. Basically, this is the code to do that. Um, well, this is the syntax to do that. And this is the actual code that would add in a WYSIWYG box with the label main content box two. But anyways, back into our template uh, config file here. So what I've done um, is again, I just copy and paste in the default options or the demo theme options into uh, a new config file and then just copy and paste and change what I need. Seems to be the quickest way to do it. But basically what I have here is the media upload for the top logo here. I have the bottom logo media upload here and then the WYSIWYG um, for the top area here. And the radio button to display or hide social media icons. And that will populate the meta box fields in the actual template. 
and that's what the user will see. So if I were to save this template and upload it uh, into uh, the templates folder with the index.php file, basically the options that they would have is two media, two uploaders, so two of these bad boys, a WYSIWYG editor, and a radio button that looks like this. So there you go, that's creating the template.php file. Make sure the only part of the template that you edit or the config file that you edit at the top is the area right here. We say edit start and edit end so um, nothing really gets messed up. And uh, the top here, so your landing page template, you wanna name it up here just to keep things clean. Um, and again, you can see all the config documentation and code snippets on the uh, developer's documentation site. So we've made it very, very easy for developers and designers to basically define custom meta boxes with just a single line of code here, or I guess three lines of code or two lines of code. Um, so you can quickly, quickly set up landing page options for the user to basically toggle on or off. And then these options that you set in the config file, uh, you wanna call those out in your index.php file. And you can see that uh, syntax here. And that's also in the documentation. But basically it's lp underscore get underscore value and then the actual ID that you used. And we have a tool that will help you generate these if you don't, don't wanna write out all of your options. And you can see that uh, on the creating a template page or hopefully in another video in this playlist.